everyone. I'm Tiffany, a programmer from Counter Limit. Today, uh, I will introduce you how to build a voice recording program by using Power Apps. First, we just open the Power Apps and to create a new Canvas app here and to insert some media that uh, we will use microphone and audios here. Microphone is the input uh, that to help us to input our voice to the program and the audio is help, uh, help us to output our sound here. And here we need a button for us to insert the data that uh, we have recorded uh, then transfer the data to the SharePoint. So we have a look on the on stop action of the microphone here. We'll have a clear collect and my sign here is the collections name that and the content, the collection item is what we'll have uh, what we'll want to save here which is the microphone one, this item, and the audio, which means we, if we just start and stop. So the audios in this period will be recorded. And we will want to listen the voice that we recorded before. So we'll have an audios item here and change the medias to the collection URL here. Uh, we can directly see what we stored in the collection by this URL. So in this case, we will just input the URL here uh, because we only have one item in the collections because we use the clear collect, which means when we collect one data here and we will clear the previous item. So there will be only one collections and only one data in the collections. Uh, then let's have a look on it. We'll just push the start button here. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, and stop. Just like this, and we won't use the button here because the button only to help us to submit submit the data we record in the URL, which is the collections item to the SharePoint. And here we will need to use the flow, which is in action flow. We can just create a flow. And here is just to create a new flow. And I have already done. Here is the flow that I used to submit the data to the SharePoint share folders. And we can just add an action by clicking this add button. And we'll have a conditions here. Uh, zero will never be equal to one. So this condition will always go to if no. Uh, if zero is equal to one, then it is impossible and there will be an error and will be send an email to warn me or send an email to warn anyone that you want by enter the uh, email address here. And here, uh, we must warn that um, this send email attachments name and uh, attachments content, the 
this to this one and this one must be the same and this one and this one must be the same uh, if not uh, the data cannot be sent to the SharePoint um, then maybe someone will ask why not just power apps and create file in SharePoint uh, actually uh, after some research in the internet I find that uh, this conditions here is to help us to use the Outlook connectors because if we directly just use the create file after the Power Apps if we just use this direct uh, this actions directly uh, we will not allow to send the voice uh, the voice recorded to the SharePoint because the SharePoint connectors expect we have some binary input and expect the data are sent in binary format so we will have uh, some tricky method that by using the Outlook connectors because uh, when we are asking for some attachment parameters here uh, in Power Apps, uh, it can send in byte format, uh, which means we can directly create a file in the SharePoint without any change in the format. So we don't need any JSON file to help us to change the format or change anything in here. So we can just by enter the URL, then send through uh, all send through and Outlook connectors to the SharePoints. So it's the faster way that to create a file directly in the SharePoint by using a conditions. And here we will see. We can just add the actions here and name the file uh, we can change it to mp4 or mp3 whatever we want in audio format and here is the collections url so we just put it in the attachments content so let's try it. testing 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 then submit it. Yes, we can see here the testing MP3. So that's how to use a flow to uh, send the voice recorded in the Power Apps then send to the SharePoints.